Okay, so now let's take a look at some sound design using Ultra Beat. I'm going to load it up again here and turn on the step sequencer and load in a different kit. Say the deep house kit. So one thing I love about Ultra Beat is the way we can audition samples in real time and swap them out. So let's loop this up here. We've got this deep house kit, but I want to change the kick drum. But sometimes it's quite difficult to know which kick drum is the right kick drum by previewing a sample, hearing it on its own, and then bringing it into the loop and hearing it into the context of the loop and deciphering it that way. So the great thing about Ultra Loop is that we can actually preview samples in real time. So I can swap out this kick drum sample here click on the sample name and I go to load sample and it brings us to where we have the sample saved for that kit and our hard drive. But I can actually navigate now to where I have some sample libraries saved. I load in something and you notice just by clicking on this kick drum here, this kick drum sample, I've not loaded it in. I'm just previewing it here, but it previews it in the context of the loop in real time. And I think it helps you to make drum decisions a little bit better sometimes. You can preview the sound in the context of the loop. I load it in there and it's loaded in that sample. And then we can start, we have all these controls. And again, let's look at this wooden hat. Let's load in a clap in here. Load sample, go to my claps. And I'm previewing now. I think that's a really nice feature. Load that in, turn it up a bit. Boost up the decay and sustain. And let's go back to our kick drum. Let's solo this up. I say it's all right, it's sounding okay, but we want to add a bit of punch. You can actually get into a bit of sound design here using the oscillator up here. So I'm going to turn this on for starters. And pull this saturation down so it's a bit more of a pure sine wave very deep sine wave. Let's tune it up a little bit to something like 60 hertz. So a nice bit of low end there. And we could actually use some envelope modulation on this pitch to make it punch a bit more. So we're going to go to this envelope four is our amplitude envelope. However, one, two and three can be used to modulate. So I'm going to use envelope one here and it's already set up kind of how I want it, but I want a fast attack and quite a short decay, no real sustain. And now I'm going to use this envelope to modulate the pitch here. I've also got already got an envelope set up here. So we're going to change this, this modulator here. You can just click on this drop down and select the target. And this is for the pitch. So I'm going to select envelope one. And now I'm going to turn the modulation amount up. And now this envelope one is modulating the pitch of this oscillator here. And we're getting a little bit of pitch modulation. It's making things a bit more punchy. And I'm adding that in with the kick drum. You can turn it on and off. And it's just adding a nice bit of punch. Turn it up a bit there. And of course we can tune this to the frequency we want and just boost our kick drum a bit. You could even try saturating it for something a bit more techno-esque. If you want that sort of thing.
and we have three modulation envelopes to play with as well as our master amplitude envelope here. Let's load in some congas here. Let's actually change the sample, not massive on that sample, load in a different sample here. And of course if we play the loop we can preview stuff. Load in a classic 808 or 909 style tom. And it also had already had some modulation on there, but let's solo this up because I love this. We have this pan here, and so we can modulate the pan. And what I love to do is add an LFO to the pan, and you get this really cool stereo effect. And up here is your LFO, so you can change the rate sync it or unsync it or change the shape of the LFO and by applying it to the pan it's basically making the pan control switch from left to right very quickly and you get that cool stereo effect Can turn it down or take it in the other direction here. And it's quite a cool way just adding some stereo feel to some sounds. So this hi hat. Take the rate of the LFO down. You get a nice kind of crazy stereo effect on there. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to take a look at step sequencing in Ultra Beat.